In this video, you'll learn how to get started with the Education Data Architecture Account Model. Education Data Architecture, or EDA, is a powerful tool for managing educational data in Salesforce. In this video, we will discuss EDA's account data models, relationships, and affiliations, and how to decide which data model works best for you. Let's start by understanding what EDA is. EDA is a specialized data model designed for educational institutions. It's perfect for schools and universities that want to track student enrollment, course registration, and academic progress. With EDA, you can have a single view of your student so you can easily see information like their financial aid data, their courses, grades, and even donation information. EDA is built on top of the Salesforce core architecture but has additional objects and tools in it specifically built for educational institutions. In EDA, there are two different account models to choose from, with the account object representing different data in each. The decision about which account data model to use is important, so let's learn more about our options. EDA offers two primary account data models, administrative account and household account. In the administrative account model, a single contact is associated with an account. This can be a student, or a faculty member, or any other individual connected to the educational institution. This relationship is one-to-one, -one, meaning that each contact corresponds to a unique administrative account. Think of an administrative account as the account-level representation of a contact. Conversely, in the household account model, the account represents a family, and each student becomes a contact within that family or household. Unlike the administrative account's one-to-one -one association, a household account typically includes multiple contacts, such as parents or guardians, siblings, and other members of the same shared household. Out of the box, EDA defaults to the administrative account model. Let's take a look at how that looks when creating a contact. We'll navigate to this contacts tab and select New Contact. Next, we'll select our record type, in this case, Student, and click Next. And now we can fill in our student's information. First, we'll input her name, Miss Katie Pauly. Then we'll indicate that she is a current student. We can fill in her full name here, then select her pronouns and her graduating class. We'll also check the box indicating that she is a transfer student. And now we can hit Save. Now that our contact has been created, let's go to the little hierarchy icon next to Katie's name, and we can see that not only was a contact created for Katie, but also an account called Poly Administrative Account. Let's click in. Then let's navigate to details. We can see that Katie is already in here as the contact associated with the account. We can also see that Katie is noted as the contact in this related list. All we had to do was create a contact record and the administrative model automatically created an account record to reflect that contact. Now let's switch to the household model and see what happens when we create a contact that way. To do that, we'll need to navigate to the Education Cloud Settings tab, and then select Settings again under Education Data Architecture. We can see that the administrative account model is set as a default here, so let's go ahead and click Edit to change that. Once we select Household Account, we can click Save. Now we'll follow the same steps. Move up here to Contacts and select New Contact. This time we will choose the alumnus record type and click Next. This time we're creating a contact for a Mr. Jack Alderman. We can select his pronouns and note that he is an alum with degree. And that's all we need, we can click Save. Again, we'll click on this hierarchy button here. And now we can see that our contact Jack Alderman is linked to the Alderman household account. And once we click into the Alderman household, we can see that in this case, Jack isn't the primary contact, but he is included in the contacts related list. Jack doesn't necessarily have to be the primary contact because with the household model, you may have multiple contacts associated with a single account. There are pros and cons to each model, but there's no wrong choice. You can even switch models at different stages of the student life cycle. For instance, consider using administrative accounts for recruiting, admissions, and active students, then transitioning to the household account model for alumni. 
To make your decision, start by considering your Salesforce goals. If you want students at the core of your data model, go for administrative accounts. If you need to group contacts and manage data collectively, like addresses, household accounts might be the better choice. In any case, it's best practice to make the most of relevant existing objects first before creating any custom objects. In either account model, you will be likely using relationship and affiliation objects. Relationships track important relationships to other individuals, and affiliations track things like academic engagements and extracurriculars. Relationships in EDA represent contact-to-contact -contact connections. You can track relationships such as mother-daughter, faculty student, anything you think is important. Whenever you create a relationship in EDA, Salesforce automatically creates a reciprocal relationship, which reflects this same relationship in the other direction. You also can track relationship status, current, or former on the relationship object. Affiliation is a custom object that allows us to track relationships between accounts and contacts. In EDA, academic departments, administrative departments, sports teams, and other institutions are represented as accounts. You connect these various accounts to contacts through the affiliations custom object. You can create as many as you want, but the most important thing is that affiliations are not other people. They're bigger things than that, like departments, other institutions, or households. That concludes our Get Started with Education Data Architecture account model tutorial. For more detailed information, please visit help.salesforce.com or explore the Salesforce trailhead. Thanks for watching.